Hey guys, I'm about to go on my hour walk. Uh, for those of you who uh, don't know, I go on an hour walk Monday through Friday, uh, almost almost every day, Monday through Friday. And, um, you know, it, I burn a little fat, but the point really for me is kind of like open my mind. You know, I listen to a podcast usually. Sometimes I just have background noise in my headphones. I'll just, you know, be alone with my thoughts. It kind of makes me more productive, more creative, you know, when I get back from my walk. So, before I go on my walk, I want to talk about some information that was put out by a guy called Thomas DeLauer uh, in a video that he had about the different types of fruit you're allowed to eat on a ketogenic diet, okay? And it, it has nothing really to do, okay, for the terms of this video, it has nothing to do really with eating fruit or not. It has to do with the way that different carbohydrates affect your body because the anaerobics diet 3.0 okay, my current best diet ever, okay, is a ketogenic diet, but I actually have you drinking sugar, okay, sugar power mixed with water before and after a workout, okay, and, um, you know, it sounds crazy, how could you do that, and why would you do that on a ketogenic diet, okay, and, um, you know, well, first of all, let me just say that if you're looking for really elite performance, okay, and really explosive movements, whether it's something like boxing or sprinting, um, or if it's something like powerlifting or Olympic lifting, you know, the best, the best fuel actually is going to be glucose, okay? It's not gonna be uh, ketones. You can get a good workout in, but if you wanna be truly an elite level athlete, uh, when you do like really explosive movements, the power, you're really going to do a lot better if you have in some glucose. But you still want to stay on a ketogenic diet. So what you do is you take a little bit of uh, glucose before and after a workout, okay? Now, what this guy talked about in his video was the way that different types of carbohydrates are processed differently in your body. And he actually provided like studies that proved it, okay? So this substantiates everything that I talk about in the anaerobics diet, okay? What he said is that fructose, the sugar from fruit, okay, tends to load up your liver's glycogen stores, glycogen being stored, you know, glucose stored carbohydrates, okay? Fruct um, dextrose, okay, is more like glucose. It goes right in and it fills up the, um, the stores in your muscle, okay, instead of the stores in your liver. He also went on to say, what I've been saying in the anaerobics diet 3.0 is that during intense exercise, you're going to be using the glycogen in your muscles, not the glycogen in your liver. He says the glycogen in the liver is used to maintain a blood sugar level, okay? The glycogen in your muscles is used to fuel intense activity, okay? He also went on to say that the liver is where ketones are produced. So by increasing the level of glycogen in your liver, that would cause you to be more apt to fall out of ketosis, to not be fat adapted, okay? Whereas the, like I said, the, uh, the glycogen in your muscles is just used for, uh, it's just used for like maximal uh, intense activity. Okay, so then another thing he said is that after a workout, okay, muscle glycogen will aid muscle recovery. Liver glycogen won't. So what we're talking about here is I have you taking dextrose powder, no other type of carbohydrate. People are like, well, could I have like a banana? No, you can't. That's fructose. That does a completely different thing on your body. Oh, could I have like, uh, you know, some pasta or something? No, 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 no. You need to mix powder. It's cheap as fuck. So don't even start with me. It's the cheapest kind of carbohydrate you could possibly get is dextrose powder. You take it a certain amount for your body weight before and after your workout. Before a workout, it gives you enough energy so that you can use glucose, okay, to fuel your activity so you can work out more intensely. Afterwards, it helps repair your muscles. It helps shuttle nutrients into your muscles, okay, because I always take whey protein with my pre and post workout shakes, okay, and uh, it also fills up your muscle glycogen for your next workout, so you're ready for your next workout. So the point that I'm trying to make is by using dextrose instead of any other type of carbohydrate, by just taking it before and after your workout, by just taking in the proper amount that you need, what you're basically doing is you are not filling up your liver glycogen, you're not screwing yourself up and coming out of ketosis, 
okay? You're filling up the muscle glycogen, which is what you need for intense activity. You're gonna get a better, more intense workout. By taking it afterwards, after a workout, you're gonna fill up your muscle glycogen for the next workout. You're also going to be improving the rate at which you, your muscles recover by taking in dextrose after a workout. And, you are, um, and you're also going to be shuttling nutrients into your muscles by taking it after a workout. Okay, so what I'm basically trying to say here is what I've been saying the whole time. You know, the anaerobics diet 3.0 gives you exactly what you need, okay, muscle glycogen to fuel a workout. Okay, muscle glycogen to repair your muscles, muscle glycogen to shuttle nutrients into your muscles, exactly what you need, and nothing you don't need, liver glycogen, okay, because it doesn't really fill up liver glycogen. So this is how you can stay on a ketogenic diet, drink pure sugar, okay, and still be in ketosis, okay, and if you do come out of ketosis for a short amount of time, you go right back into it because you're not filling up your stores of liver glycogen, okay, and, um, you know, another thing that's really important is, that wasn't mentioned in the video, but something that I mentioned is, you know, you could only fill up so much muscle glycogen. When your muscle glycogen is filled, okay, after that, everything's gonna spill over, as bodybuilders call it, when you take in too many nutrients and it spills over into your fat stores. I mean, you know, you think about it like you got a bucket here, like, you know, your muscle is like a bucket. You fill up your uh, muscle glycogen, okay, the bucket is filled, any more sugar that you put in there, any more carbs you put in there, it's just gonna spill over the top of the bucket. It's gonna make a big fucking mess, okay? And in your body, your muscle glycogen is filled up after a certain amount, and when it's filled up, any more, any more glycogen, any more glucose, any more sugar that you take in is gonna spill over, okay, into your fat stores. So, like I said, if you have to use the proper amount, you have to use the proper type, and you have to use it at the proper time, but if you do that, you will not only be able to stay on a ketogenic diet, taking in carbohydrate shakes, but you will also be able to get a much more intense workout, recover much better, get better results, and even get leaner by taking in carbs on a ketogenic diet.